Okay, now this video is a quick one. It's a fix for Windows Update on Windows 7. As you can see here, it's checking for updates, supposedly. Now, it's been doing this for about an hour, and it's it doesn't come back with anything, trust me. Uh, I've already had another computer that's had this problem. It's a bug with one of the Windows updates that came out. And uh, this is how to fix it. Now I think it's after you upgrade to Service Pack 1, as you can see here, Windows 7 Service Pack 1. This is a 64-bit system as well. It's also the same on 32 in my experience with them. Now, to fix this problem, first of all, you need to disable Windows Update. Okay, so we'll start from the desktop to fix this issue. Open Start and go to Control Panel. Make sure it's selected in the top right corner here as large icons. Scroll down until you see Windows Update. Now in here, it's still checking for updates on mine, but hit change settings on the left hand side. Change whatever your box here says. So never check for updates. And hit OK at the bottom. It's still apparently checking for updates, just ignore that. I've got a notification to change Windows Update settings because it's turned off. Now what we want to do is restart the computer. So, restart it here. Okay, once the computer's restarted again, quickly go back to the control panel. Hit Windows Update. Make sure it's not trying to install updates. Click Change Settings again. Make sure it's still set to Never. It must be set to Never before you do the next step. So once that's OK, you need to go into the description of the video, I'll put the links, but you want two Windows updates off the Microsoft website. The first one is KB3020369, that'll be the first link, and it's April 2015 servicing stack update, Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 R2. Uh, this is part of the fix. There's two updates you need. This is the first one. This one must be installed first. So I'll go onto the page, scroll down, find how to obtain this update, keep going. You want the Microsoft Download Center one, and you want all supported versions of Windows 7, if that's what you're running. And x86 is if you have a 32 bit, and x64 is for 64 bit Windows 7. Now you find that out by going to Start, Computer, right click in that and go into Properties. And it will tell you here, System Type, 64-bit Operating System or 32-bit Operating System. Make sure you get the right version for your version of Windows. So this is a 64-bit computer, so I will get the X64. Click Download the package now. I'll take you to the download page here. Then you want to click on well, then you want to select your language, make sure it's English in our case, click download. I'll say thank you for downloading and give you the update, save file. Now whilst that is downloading, you're going to want to go and get the second update which will be in the description. This is the July 2016 update roll up for Windows 7 Service Pack 1 and Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1. This is a KB31. 72605 so go back down find the same uh, how to get this update again method 2 the Microsoft Download Center this is 64-bit Windows again so we're gonna download the 64-bit one if you've got 32 remember use the x86 English download save the file again now at this point, depending on the speed of your connection, you should have at least one of the updates downloaded. My second one's still downloading there. The first one that we downloaded, the one 3020369, that is the first one you want to run. So you can run that now. It'll prepare and then it'll ask you to click a few things, like usual installer. Yep, do you want to install the update? Yes. Let it do the update. And once this update is finished, we need to restart the computer before installing the second update. 
So there we go, installation complete. You could run this now, and I have run this and got away with doing them both without a restart, but I suggest you restart the computer. So we've done, this is what one ending with 369. We'll now restart. Once the computer has started up again, go back to the folder where you downloaded the updates to, and run the one that ends with 605. The same as before, let it prepare, then click yes to install this update. We'll do the installation. Once the installation is completed, this one will prompt you to restart now. So go ahead and restart. It'll do this configure in, and then your computer will come back on again. The computer's restarted, it's just finishing off configuring updates. Now the computer's on again, you can delete those update files. like so and then what you want to do now is go to the control panel again make sure it's on icons go to windows update it's prompting you to check for updates click change settings on the left put it back to what your setting was from before install updates automatically for example click ok it should now check for updates itself automatically so now you should get some updates back in just a couple of minutes it's currently 19.20 and I'm going to come back once this is finished and it's got some updates. Okay, now as you can see we've got hundreds of updates come through because the computer's not had them in a while and it's just 19.22 so that took about two to three minutes and all these updates are now ready. You can go ahead check off what you want from the list and uh, install them. So there we go. I hope this helped you solving your Windows 7 update problem. This was uh, an issue for quite a while I've had and now I've got the fix that's worked on three, four computers so far. I'm pretty confident it should work for everybody else as well. So please leave a like if this worked for you. Leave any comments down below if you're still having problems and I'll try and assist you the best I can.